Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I'm Mr. Curry, and I'm coming to you from my house during these uh, troubling times. Um, and I just wanted to start off with um, that these are the beginning of the virtual lessons for our social studies classes. Now, all of your lessons begin Monday, April the 13th, and uh, they must be turned in by Friday, April the 17th. Now, that's this week. Every Monday, we'll have a new virtual lesson up, and I just wanted to make you aware. Today's begins on the 13th of April, and it ends Friday, April the 17th. So that gives you five days to get everything done. Now, how do you make sure that your teachers get everything they need? Well, let's begin with you can text answers to teachers by writing answers down, taking a picture, sending a text, emailing what you've done. Now, in my case, if possible, if you hit the turn it in button on your Google Classroom, I automatically get it. Uh, now, as you're doing my work, I need you to make sure you need to be aware of every slide that I've put in the show. Um, you have teaching points that you'll need to look at. Um, this slide, the first slide has our standard. The next slide has our learning target and success criteria. After you get past the teaching points, you have the resources. Now, on my work, you need to look at the Google Slideshow because you're actually going to put your answers to the questions on the slides. If you need to add a slide so that you can complete your answer, that's fine with me. But there, the question comes. When the source is done, there will be a question below it. Each one of the questions is numbered until you get to the writing prompt, which is a slide that says, writing prompt so don't forget to do that writing prompt make sure you do the writing prompt now as you're going through because each of you have your own copy of this slideshow what i'd like for you to do is i'd like for you to go ahead and highlight as you're reading make sure you think about the success criteria what am i looking for well in history we're always looking for the who the what the where, the when, and the why. Why are we talking about this? Why is this important? Now, if you go down towards the bottom of the screen, or down to the bottom to the bottom slides, you will see that you will see that there is contact information. So, if you run into a problem, please don't hesitate to call or text or email Mr. Curry. I will do everything in my power to try and help you. However, I'm not going to give you the answers. So, right now, 8th graders, here's a picture. This is the Underground Railroad. And this is the paths that were taken by the people from the South to freedom. And as you can see, Southern Indiana was a hotbed for the Underground Railroad. Now, I'm going to kind of leave it there because on the first slide, as you see, what we're doing this week is you're going to describe the abolitionist movement and identify figures and organizations involved in the debate over slavery, including the leaders of the Underground Railroad. Now, if you guys remember, who was the leader of the Underground Railroad? Why was the Underground Railroad so important? Well, I'm banking that you're going to give me all these answers so that I can learn a thing or two as well. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day.